here we are, everybody. Nice to see you. Hmm. I wonder if you can hear me now. Give me, give me a little shout out if you can hear me. I'm going to wait a few seconds because I know we've got a little bit of a, a, a delay here when I'm doing my live broadcasts. No sound says Jerry and no sound says Sadora. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to do a little bit of this and I'm going to move and see can anybody hear anything now? I hear I see a yes. Sam says there we go. Oh boy, I thought I was going to have to do pantomime for the whole drawing show. All right, we're back. Great. Okay, well actually if you would like to hear what I was saying a moment ago, I was talking about traveling during this weird and strange time and saying that we haven't gone anywhere ourselves. We've all just stayed here as a family. And then I was curious if any of you knew which of these United States, if you live here in the States, which of the 50 United States has the most streets in it? And I said, well, of course, it's Rhode Island. Alrighty, there you go. Got to get your dad joke in there, right? Okay, so um, let's get things moving here. I would like to do some drawing with you all. You're going to have to get yourself some equipment. And for that, I want you to make sure and grab your uh, pencil, pen, marker, crayon, whatever it is that you need, a piece of paper to draw with. And while you do that, I'm just gonna check the sound here and be absolutely sure that I've got things looking pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm worried because I just had to set this all up from scratch over the last two days when my other machine was toasted. It got destroyed. Um, so I'm kind of trying to get things back to normal. If you think the sound is too low, uh, give me a shout and I'll see if I can boost it up a little bit. All right, anyway, we need to get some drawing done today. That's why we are here. And so we are going to start with a you draw it, like we always do. And I like this one today. It's a very happy drawing, okay? It's the kind of thing that'll make you feel like, oh yeah, I think I might like to do that. All right, and it's, it's an activity that we're drawing. Okay, uh, let's see here. Sam says, didn't miss it. <laughs> I didn't miss the joke, right? No, that's very important, isn't it? All right, yeah, let me know if the sound is low, guys, okay? I'm still working on setting up everything. Um, it's never any fun when you've got a machine that just says bye-bye on you. All right, here we go. Now, for today's drawing, as usual, you're gonna have to be able to do three kinds of lines. First of all, a nice straight line, like so. Second, you're gonna have to be able to do a nice curvilinear line, okay? Curvilinear line, could go that way, could go that way, this way, Boop. Any of those are nice curvilinear lines. And then don't forget, finally, your nice zigzags, right? And sometimes we get those zigzags together like that. If you can do those kinds of lines, you're all set for today. Now, to start, we're going to do a little bit of a straight line. Look at this. Bam. That is the beginning of our drawing. Couldn't be simpler. All right, now, remember I just mentioned these little curvilinear lines. So to continue, we're going to do a small curvilinear line. And I want you to look how small this is. Look, just a little bit of a turn like that. The tiniest of turns. 
See that? It's the tiniest of turns. All right, now here comes another curve. Watch this. Curve. See that? Now this one's a little bigger, right? A little more dramatic down here, isn't it? It's a little more dramatic. Drama. All right, now we're going to angle back this way. Now I want you to sort of here, I'm going to show you something. And don't draw along with me here. I just want you to show you some measurement here. All right, you see this area right here? Imagine if I took that line and just kind of straightened it out, okay? That's about the distance you want to travel here. Watch. Down like so. See that? Down like so. Okay. Now we're going to cut back in the other direction. Here we go. Now it's not going to be perfectly straight, but very close to perfectly straight, and I mean horizontal. Watch. Boop. See that? I know you all can do that. Now, this is a really good zigzag we got going on here. Zigzag, and then watch this. Zig, slightly different angle from this, right? Zag, okay. And one more. Zig, see this? We go zig, zag, zig, zag, zig. All right, and now this line's going to be kind of straight down like that. I'm going to stop right about there. And there you have it. Okay, now I'm going to pop back in this direction. I'm going to travel, let's see, one, two, three, about three of this line here. Okay, watch this. One, two, and three. Stop right about there. So we are drawing a silhouette. We're drawing a silhouette. And if you notice with silhouettes, you kind of got to get the size of these lines and the angle of these lines pretty good, right? They have to be pretty accurate. Um, but the great thing about human faces is they all look different in profile. So if you stretch one little bit here or there out, don't worry about it. If you shrink something down, if you push something out or pull it in, not a big deal. You're still drawing a nice face, so no worries. All right, let's see here. Uh, questions. Are you using a Wacom tablet? I am indeed. And did you know it's pronounced Wacom? I did not know that until I got to visit their fine offices out there in Portland, Oregon. And um, they corrected me when I walked in and said, I'm very happy to be here at Wacom. And they said, no, no, it's Wacom. So there you go. I am using a Wacom. I'm using a Cintiq 22 HD that is about four years old. Um, I've been working on Wacom devices since 19... 98. Whew, that's a long time ago, isn't it? All right, let's carry on with our drawing. Are you ready? We're going to now go in a different direction, okay? I'm not going to go straight down. I'm going to angle out this way, and this line is going to be slightly longer than this line, but not much. Angle and stop right about there. Okay, that feels good. I'm not going to show you a nifty trick for drawing somebody with their eyes closed. Watch this. I'm going to draw a line. See this, see this nose line, the bridge of the nose here? Imagine I'm going to carry at that same angle, okay? Give myself some space here between here, the, the what is it? Globula, gabala, but there's a name for this keystone area in between the eyebrows and at the top of the bridge of the nose, and I can't remember what it is. We're going to travel back this way and I maybe hit it about here, and I'm just going to do this, watch line like that. See that? A little bit of an angle to it. Sloping on up that way. Zip. And then I'm going to give a little bit of space here for the eyelashes and then watch this. We just come up like that. And that's all there is to it, gang. One and a two. Okay. And now I'm just going to go boop like that for an eyebrow. Couldn't be simpler. And there you have our face. Now I'm not going to do anything to the rest of the head for now. A couple reasons for that. One, I want to get some other areas drawn here for you so you get everything measured out. But secondly, I want this to be your own drawing. And hair is really something that makes uh, somebody look different, of course. Now with me, there's none to play with there. But um, you could make this person bald. But I think this is a great opportunity for you to add different kinds of lines for the hair that you want. Alrighty. Uh, so leave that up to you. Now, carrying on from this little area here, we're going to do another curve. Only this curve is going to be very shallow. It's going to come down to about here. Watch this. I'm going to curve down to about there. See that? 
very shallow curve. I know you all can do that. Look at here this little tip of the chin, this point of the chin right here. All right, now we want to travel down right there following this line. See this, I'm going to come right about here. And then I'm going to come out a little ways. So it's like mm, a little triangle here. If I was going to think about a triangle and the point, I would go maybe about this distance here. And that's where I'm going to start my next line. Putting a little dot out there for myself for reference, okay? If you notice that line is, that dot is kind of right about in line with here, right? Where the neck breaks into the chest there. And here comes another nice little curve, watch. Curve and stop. See that? Kind of like a backwards letter J. 70s hairdos is clever. Well, that could be a lot of things. It could be feathered, right? If you look at that feathered style. It could be permed, a little permanent. Do people still get perms? I do not know. I don't know. All right, carrying on. Now we're going to pop straight on down. Watch this. Pop like that. You may be wondering, well, what's going on there? You'll see in a moment. Move over this way, all right? Now imagine that right where this break is, I'm just carrying that line over a little further and I'm just gonna do this. Make a line right there. And then I'm gonna do the same line, only I'm not gonna come directly beneath here. Watch this, I'm gonna draw it over here this time. Boom, 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 slightly shorter. See that? Now this is a hand. Line, 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 okay? And then here's something fun. I'm just going to connect these like this. I'm gonna go line like that, leave a little space. And then see this, I'm gonna curve it like that. Simple. Got a hand doing this. And now we're going to draw a line straight up here. Alrighty. And we wanna be, be sure we know what to aim for. And so at first I'm gonna draw a nice oval here. Watch this, oval like so. There's my oval. And then I'm gonna just connect it down to there. Alrighty, there's that connection, oval and down. All right, now picking back up here at the base of the hand, we're gonna come back like so. Alrighty. And then here, I'm gonna come arcing up, but I need to know exactly where my neck's gonna stop. So imagine that this line continues its curve. Draw myself a nice little marker there. Say, okay, that is about the right width for the human neck there. And then I'm gonna just do this. Little bit of a connection there, and then curve it on down like so. And that gives you plenty of room to decide what do you want to do with that hair, right? Now, keep in mind that if you're drawing somebody with short hair, right, you're gonna to need to do this. Now, don't, don't draw this if you're not doing somebody with short hair, but I want you to notice something. You're gonna to wanna to draw the line up and start coming on back like this, okay? Let me do it from another angle, there we go. And make sure that your hair follows along that kind of a shape, okay? Because if you feel your own neck, you'll notice that the base of your skull okay, is basically in line with the bottom of your ears, okay? You feel that, just go to the bottom of your earlobe and trace your finger on back and you'll feel, oh yeah, there's that little notch in the back of my head and that's where my skull is connecting to my neck in the back there, okay? That way you don't get somebody with a popsicle neck or just kind of sitting up there in the middle. Common mistake. Okay, now a little line like this and a little line like that just to show that there's that shoulder and here's the fun part. Now watch what I do here. This is going to be an interesting little shape. I come out and around and back like that. Aha! This person is blowing bubbles. Now, watch this trick. I'm going to draw a circle like this, leave a break, and connect like that. See that? You leave that break and it shows the transparency of that bubble, right? Then you do a little line like that and a little line like that, and that's kind of like a reflection. And then you could do something like this if you want. You could add another little circle and then continue it like that. 
give it a little highlight. And then you could do this. You could do a nice separate one here and maybe a few small ones here and there, right? Floating around. You could always connect this one as well. Give it a little circle like that. Bloop. Okay. There you go. And uh, I'm going to put one here. You can draw as many of these bubbles as you like. But it's a person blowing bubbles, and isn't that fun? All right, for those of you who want to draw ears, let's make sure we place them correctly. So let's say I want to draw an ear. I'm going to look right here at the top of the eye, all right, this little line we drew for the eyelid, and I travel back to about here. And that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to end it at the bottom of the nose, okay, right about there. So I'm just going to say, boop, backwards C. And there is that nice ear. All right, hair, what do you want to do? Look at all these things you could do. You could do lines like that, right? Just a bunch of C curves, and you could draw all the hair like that. Just switch the direction of those C curves as you go. That's one way to do it. You could do straight hair. You can do frizzy hair. You can do really close cropped hair. Anything you like, that's up to you. That's how you make it your own, okay? So there's a chance to customize that drawing for yourselves. Alrighty, so not bad. It's time for us to do a little doodle game. So I'm going to make a doodle. And I need you to tell me what you think you see with this shape. Are you ready? One and two and three. There is the doodle. What could it be? Now you have to tell me anything that springs to mind. And I will quickly complete that drawing. And when we're doing this, I want you to also be keeping in the back of your minds an animal activity for me. That's an animal doing something strange, something unexpected, something weird, something we haven't seen before, okay? We've done all kinds of fun ones in the past. Now, for those of you who joined on Friday and the show cut out, I want you to see what happened. Here is what we drew on Friday. Look, a chicken lifting weights. Really funny idea. Now, nobody got to see the finish, so I thought you might like to see it today. And there was our drawing as well on Friday, which was the bear with the honey. All right, back to our doodle here. What do you see on the screen there? What are you thinking? And of course, you can always rotate this in your mind and say, oh, that looks like something. That looks like something, right? Lots of different stuff. We have a whale singing. An angel with a harp. Well, that's interesting. A Dolphin. Let me see. Where do you see the dolphin? I don't see that myself. Hmm. A whale singing is pretty funny. I'm trying to see how that works. Let me let me just take a look at this. How do you see the whale singing? Hmm. I don't know. I don't see that myself. The angel with the harp. I kind of see. Let me try that. All right. Let's do this. Hide that for a moment. Sorry, I just hit the text key there. I'm working in Photoshop for anybody that's wondering what I'm doing here. All right, we're just going to do this. And there's that nice big robe, right? And then we have the, the angel. Singing and on the other side, playing the harp. So you get the strings. And the wings. The strings and the wings. Oh, that worked out. Got a little rhyme going there. Didn't even mean to. How, how exciting. And there's that other hand there playing the strings. Okay, oh, how inspirational. Okay, fantastic, guys. Now it's time for the animal and activity. So I need to hear from you, an animal, doing something weird, unexpected, something funny. Go ahead and write that in the chat, and we will take it to a finished state as quickly as I possibly can. 
since uh, time is running out. Time is running out. Make myself a little bit of room. I'll put that there. I'll take this down here. Move it over there. And take this here and move it over there. There we go. Grab myself a nice light color, and I am ready to start drawing. So, what do we have here, folks? Give me an animal doing something weird, something unexpected, something funny, something strange. Yes, Kathy, I'm using a pen and tablet. This is a Wacom Cintiq 22 HD that I very much enjoy using. All right, a clownfish performing stand-up comedy. That's a winner right there, gang. I'm not really sure how to draw a clownfish, but I'm just gonna draw a fish doing stand-up because that's really funny. Um, I have seen clownfish before. But yeah, great idea. So here we go. And he's, he's gonna be gesturing with his fin like, oh, you wouldn't believe what just happened to me. Got his suit on. I have that suit, the jacket. And he's got to have that microphone. There we go. I love it. Great idea. Well done. I know it doesn't look anything like a clownfish. Honestly, I have no idea what a clownfish even looks like. Uh, but good enough, right? It'll have to do. We'll have to see what I can make out of this. I've got about three minutes left, so wish me luck. Are you ready? One, two, three. Get that mouth feeling like it's got some dimension to it, right? I like that. Pop over this way. A little bit of fin action there, and then down. Carry it around with the collar. And here comes that coat. And we're gonna do this. Fin. Coming out that way, saying, hey folks, boy did I have a weekend. You know what, gang? Since we're drawing a little comedy piece here, it'd be great if anybody has a funny joke about a fish. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Family show. But if you know any, go ahead and share it in the chat. Microphone. Boop. Oh, man. What a concept, a clownfish doing stand-up. I'm, I'm loving it. Whoops, no buttons there yet. There, we're gonna put buttons down there. And the coat around, tie, pants. Pants are just one pant leg, right? That's funny. And then, there's that tail. And there's that eye and microphone. And let's just hide that sketch. And look at that, gang. What do you think? I think we kind of nailed that one. Might not look exactly like a clownfish, but hey, you know, that's fine. Put a few little decorative odds and ends on here and give them some pockets, right? And uh, maybe since he's talking underwater, put a few bubbles and look, let's use that trick we know. Boop, beep, whoops. Yeah, you guys learned that today, right? Some of you probably already knew it, but hey. There he is, well. Fun one. Thank you very much for that suggestion. I greatly enjoyed drawing that. I hope you all had fun today hanging out with me 
And I'll get this all sorted out for tomorrow and see if I can make sure that I get my background music back. That was the one thing I wasn't able to figure out again. But the lovely folks at Adobe are going to help me with that. Thank goodness. All right. Well, everybody, please stay safe, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. And remember to please be kind. And I will see you next time. Take care.